Running ads on Instagram can be one of the fastest ways to grow your business, whether you're promoting a product, service, or just trying to get more visibility. Now, in this beginner-friendly walkthrough, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to create, set up, and run Instagram ads using Meta Ads Manager, from picking the right campaign objective to targeting the right audience to launching your first ad. By the end, you'll be ready to confidently put your brand in front of the right people. So the first thing that we want to do is that you want to make sure that your business, whatever it is, maybe uh, on Facebook or on Instagram, has a Facebook business account. Now, how do you get that is that you go to your settings for your business and you change from a personal account to a business account. Now, as soon as you do that, you can go to meta ads right here, facebook.com slash business, or you can just simply type in meta ads, right? And the first thing that comes up is business.meta.com and you can press that. Well, it's not really the first thing because there's a bunch of sponsored links out there, but you know what I mean. And what does it help you do? It helps you increase your online sales, boost your lead generation, connect with more customers, increase your brand awareness, drive more traffic to your website, or get more app installs. Whatever it is, you can always control the budget. You can automate your ads with AI now to have it be easier and just a more seamless process. And you can meet customers exactly where they are, introduce your brands, uh, attract new customers on social media. So the first thing that you want to do, and they have it plastered all over the website, is press create ad. And as soon as it does that, it's going to load up your ad account that's tied to your Facebook page or your Insta, whatever it is that you have tied it to. Now, it's very important that you press right here and you actually choose an Instagram profile because this is for Instagram ads. And you make sure that your Facebook page or your Instagram profile is actually set to a business account. Otherwise, you won't really be able to manage any of this on this platform. So right from the home dashboard area, um, my credit card is expired. Let's actually hide that. We want to go to create. And as soon as you create, let's say you have a business where you want more engagement on your Instagram page, you press engagement, you go continue. It's going to give you uh, a bunch of options. So as soon as it takes us, we can have an entire new engagement campaign and we can create a template for said campaign, or we can choose an existing template, which is a custom one. We can save and then we can press next. As soon as you go next, new engagement ad set, uh, conversion location on your ad or to Instagram direct to your account uh, DMs. You can have people call your business or you can take people to your website. Let's say that we want them on my ad and we have either engagement on the view or just views. It matters. Let's press engagement, maximize engagement with the post, daily unique reach. Each and every impression is different or just maximize number of impressions. So it really does get tailor made. Now here, the budget, you can create a rule set, get more outcomes that you want, optimize the type of goals. Let's create a rule set. The search criteria, have it be a certain gender. Let's say you uh, only sell male colognes on your business and you want to increase the bid by 20% and you want to, an untitled rule. So let's simplify this, okay? Let's say that we want more video views, maximum views, and we want an amount. So you set your amount that you want to spend right here and set a frequency for your ad delivery because frequency controls allows you to manage how often a person sees your ad for through play. If you have a specific target for how often you want your audience to see your ad, because some people can get sick of it. So no matter how much you want to spend, let's say we want to spend 500 bucks. Okay, now it's going to do a little, you know, quick count of the audience. The audience is really broad right now. We want people to just converge onto our Instagram, right? Get people to engage with your brand on Instagram direct. That's my account. Maximize number of conversations, maximize number of link clicks. So you either want people to look at your page or you want people to look at your website, for instance. Now you put uh, an amount here that you want. Bid cap is the maximum amount you want us to bid in ad auctions for this ad set. So you enter an auction basically and you get paid however. You pay however, uh, you know, about bid cap. Let's actually learn more. 
is one of Facebook's bid strategy options in the ad auction. Bid per impression, bid per estimated action. Rather than specifying a max bid per impression, a bid cap specifies the maximum value for the bid per estimated action, not per impression. We may bid lower than this if it would cause you to spend your budget too quickly. So they really do control it to try and make the most out of the money that you're paying. For example, a skincare company has conducted research and estimates that conversions costing more than $40 will typically lead to a loss. Through testing, they set a bid cap of 50, finding that this reduces the number of days in which they observe conversions costing over 40 without reducing their spend too much in other days. So the daily budget that you want to spend or the lifetime budget, it just depends. And according to that, it also keeps telling you all the details. And you want locations, you can edit locations. You can, it, be, it can be the entire country or it can be a certain age set that's maybe a little bit tighter, minimum age being 23 all the way to 20 whatever, and, and a, an existing audience. So a more specific audience, not necessarily just Egypt. It can be a city within Egypt. And no matter how much you change things, let's say we want to make it Cairo, just, just Cairo. So we want to be specific. And it keeps telling us if it's too broad, if we're doing good. You can lower cost by 9% by selecting more destinations. Alexandria. So the more specific you get, the better. Because maybe you know exactly what type of people you want to um, target with your ads. And it tells you the estimated results based on how much you've paid. The conversations being 6 to 18, the reach being about 5,000 to 14,000 people. And you can, you know, have suggest an audience. You can add demographics, interests, people that are into fashion will also like your cologne business. And you press that and you tailor make it and you tailor make it. And as soon as you have something that you like and you want to maximize both of those without breaking your bag. So you have to have this sort of balance between everything. You press next. And as soon as you have your ad ready, your money in the bank, whatever credit card you're going to pay with, you're going to, you can, you can, you know, use an existing ad or create an ad from scratch. It can be a single image or a video or a carousel. Um, you can set up, you know, an image ad or a video ad, tell people what your ad is, check out our page for instance, and then you can send Instagram. You can get a quote for people who want to buy shop now for a link right now, subscribe maybe to a YouTube channel, whatever it is, the action button that you want, the message template. You can have automated chat as well or a partner app. So it's pretty comprehensive. That's the beauty of meta ads is, to, is that it can just tailor make whatever it is and tailor your audience, tailor the amount that you're going to spend on your ad, everything that you want and more in order to get your money's worth and more than that. So, you know, it's, it's quite helpful. And as soon as you're done, you just press publish right away. And that being said, it's going to just tell you, hey, we're about to take your money. Give us your tax money. And then after that, it's going to tell you that the ad is now running and it's going to publish said ad. And now we've, you know, made an entire new campaign. We've set up our Instagram business account. We have set up everything in motion. And all we need to do is to just start, you know, working. And I hope uh, that you found this video helpful. If you did, let us know in the likes down below. Uh, subscribe and let us know in the comments what you want to see from us next and we'll catch you in the next one.